Good morning everyone, welcome to another video from Upgrade or Trash It. In this video have got the Latitude E5420 and I'm going to walk you through installing Ubuntu, one of the most popular Linux operating systems, onto this laptop. I've got Ubuntu, just out of screenshot, I've got Ubuntu loaded onto a USB stick, so it's all ready to go. I just need to turn the laptop on. Press the F12 key to get the boot menu. Okay, and select the USB storage device. Okay, and we've already got some options up there, but I'm just going to go for the first one. Try it on install Ubuntu. Now, as I said, Ubuntu is perhaps the most popular Linux operating system out there, and there are hundreds of other Linux operating systems. And what Ubuntu actually means is its kind of its rough translation is humanity, or it means behaving well towards others or acting in ways that benefit the community, which is what this software is about. It's a cracking piece of software which is totally free and which is updated regularly. And that's really why it's called Ubuntu. So here we go, 
this is the Ubuntu desktop and so far as you can see we're about five minutes into the installation and there have been no issues so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Ubuntu um, properly and I'm going to select on the English UK and then I'm going to click on continue so I've got it set to um, mimic the UK keyboard as well and then here I'm just going to do the normal install installation this is updates for other software and then just going to click on the continue And then I'm going to actually, there's Windows 7 installed in here at the moment. I'm going to erase that and just install Ubuntu over it. Okay, there's a warning message about what's going to happen to the hard drive. Then we go into, it's got my location. There's New York. That isn't. There we go, set it as London, which is near enough. Okay, create an account. Put a simple password on it. And then off it goes installing to the next part of the, of the installation process. One of the nice things when you install um, Ubuntu or, or Mint or any of the other um, Linux packages is during the installation pro process they give you a little slideshow to introduce you to some of the different pieces of software that you're going to be using because people most people are either on Windows or they're on Apple so um, they take the opportunity with this slideshow to just introduce you with the names of the software the, the software on Ubuntu and Linux do the same things as they do on Windows or on Apple machines but they're just different pieces of software with different names so as it says here, you know, you can do your photography, you can do your graphics, your games, and you can be productive. So you've got your Spotify, which is available. You've got your VLC, um, which some of you may know is a very, very um, popular kind of media player, which lots of people use on Windows. And then the standard kind of music software or media software is the Rhythmbox music player on Ubuntu. And then in terms of photographs, um, GIMP is a very, very famous free version of Adobe and it's as powerful. Um, and then there's other pieces of software that you can use to manage your um, photos or to do your video editing. And then included in Ubuntu is, um, is Firefox, which many people know in terms of surfing the web. And then also other software, we've got Chromium here. I think you'll be able to install a pure copy of Google Chrome as well to make it more familiar for you. And then, of course, there is no Microsoft Word 
on any of the Linux products, but there is uh, a piece of software called LibreOffice, which is as powerful as Microsoft Word. Calc is as powerful as Microsoft Excel and Impress is their version of PowerPoint. And not only are these products as powerful as the Microsoft products, but they are totally compatible with them. So if someone sends you a Microsoft Word document, then you can actually upload it into LibreOffice Writer and edit it. And it should be seamless. You shouldn't have any problems. And I'll stop rabbiting on. You can have a if you if you install Ubuntu yourself, you can have a look at the kind of the full range of the features that it op operates that it offers. Sorry. Now what was interesting is when I installed Windows 10 on this same laptop earlier today, the installation only took 27 minutes, which is incredibly fast because on two other Dells where I've installed Windows 10, it's taken, um, it's taken about 40 minutes. So to install for this, to install Windows 10 in 27 minutes was incredible. And I've also installed Windows 7 on this and that took about 15 to 20 minutes as well. So that was really fast. So it'll be interesting to know how long will this take to install fully. And at the moment we're on about 11 or 12 minutes of installation time. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the installation program, um, process now. And what's interesting is it hasn't connected to the Wi-Fi or to my um, internet network. And normally that
that's one of the things that, that one of the first things in my experience that happens on an during an installation process. So we're around about 17 minutes into this insulation process at the moment. Okay, so there we go. It's um, saying the insulation's complete.